Now, one of the weird quirks about the uh, level 4 build is that the bell ringing woman will probably not even bother to show that she has nothing to do here. Because I think the below level 30 matchmaking protection applies even in a place like this. Yeah, these guys are the useful guys. Kill a whole bunch of them with enough discovery, and you can get yourself some good runes. At least in theory. Nope. A few crawling nightmares that can actually fight are here. Oh, okay. I took him too lightly. Welcome to the Nightmare Frontier. <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't think it would end that quickly. I just threw Molotovs at them until they all went away. <laughs> well, that's one way to clear the area. These guys are so weak to fire, usually. Unless you're stuck behind a rock and not reaching, like I was just then. But yeah, you can just kill the first couple of these guys in the area over and over again and you should get some good crescent gems with uh, fire and stuff but you might also get radials which means you can make an elemental weapon that way now there should be some rather unpleasant people around here somewhere I don't know why they're not showing up all of a sudden wait there we are, there they are Anyway, try and make us stand at the bridge here. Oh, guns. I hate guns. I just don't do enough damage. Ow. He's throwing a knife at me. Really? You're quite the serious one, aren't you? Damn it. I'm not going to rally back at that rate. Oh. Nope. One of the few times the whip is actually going to outdo me. Eat axe. Eat it good. Your friend seems to be a bit stuck over there. Fine by me. Oh, crap. He has a bolt axe? Never noticed before. What, you gonna you gonna give it up this easy? My axe hits so much harder than my cleaver at this point. Think of that. We'll see who's the champion of axe. Where are you going? That was a long way to go just now. Yeah. My charged axe beats your charged axe. Take that. Whew. Gotta be cheap. <laughs> it's the only way to do it at this level. I feel absolutely no guilt in cheesing hunters in Bloodborne. Very few of them play by what I would call fair rules. Instead of a jump, it was just a very embarrassing fall. <laughs> very well then. There's going to be some odd choke points in the Nightmare Frontier. Because there's some parts that are just uh, a little random and luck based. Not so much 
when you're playing normally, it would be like, yeah, if I'm unlucky, I might take a hit, but I can continue. Whereas in this situation, it's more like, oh, I'm unlucky, I took a hit, and now I have to go back and try again. Nothing is going to undo it. I'm annoyed I'm not getting any of these drops, but... What the hey? Let's keep our feet firmly planted on the ground. Oh. I was really hoping that would do better. <laughs> One of the big problems is, I think these rocks will kill me no matter what. And defeating the Yeti in one location here will attract the attention of the second one. I think. Yep. The minute I went for one of them, the other one just immediately started with his own rock throwing. Question is, can I get them to be bored and leave, or give up? At least enough that uh, I can go for a cheap hit. Gotta leave, gotta leave. This is the only way I know to deal with this, whether I'm level 4 or level 100. There's just no getting around the fact that you're going to take a bunch of damage if any of this crap connects. I think I'm safe at first, but now i got to get my rush on. Yeah, the only good thing is he really doesn't like fire. Oh, he almost got me though. That was close. <laughs> it's really frustrating to die at this point and have to go back. It's like at least get let me get the shortcut before you kill me. That would be just grand, thank you. Uh, I'm suddenly having trouble remembering how to navigate this area. That's not a good sign at all. But no, I got it now. Jump up here. Good. I really don't know why they bothered with so many bloodstones in this area. Like regular ones? Like surely... How many do you really need? I hate these things. I'm just gonna blast the crap out of it. They're always slightly more trouble than you think they're gonna be. Now then... As tempting as it is to kill patches, I won't do it. <laughs> I think you have to do it the peaceful way if you actually want to get his uh, cow rune later. And to be honest, I don't even remember what it is, but, you know, collections. I like collecting things. Yeah, down here is... I want to say metamorphosis? Yeah, a clockwise. That's useful. I feel like the HP ones are not as useful as they would normally be because their percentages are quite low in the first place. And additionally, besides their percentage being quite low, your base is very low and eventually the 
amount of damage people do in one hit goes well beyond 100% of your health. So there's there's no health boost in the world that will actually be effective enough to not kill you in one hit. Do I have any Molotovs left? No, I don't. Oh well. We'll just have to try this the old-fashioned way. Ah, oh, crap. That's right. The little ones know they're projectiles, don't they? Oh, crap. They know more than projectiles. What's this? Frenzy Cold Blood? Not worth it. Not worth fighting these idiots. Can't not do it, though. I need my seafood diet. Oh. Jesus. They're not pulling any punches today. Well, that was bad. <laughs> Don't know what to say. Bad is bad. And that was bad. This is my slow poison dials. Oop. Well, since we're being slow poisoned anyway, we may as well just recklessly rush around and grab everything we can. Uh, am I stuck? No, I'm not stuck, but... Not a good way to be either. Yeah, I would use the antidote, but I just don't think it's going to be worthwhile. It's one of those situations where I think I'm pretty much just fucked. <laughs> there isn't some super expert move I can do here. To really make my situation that much better. Let's just go ahead and try our best. Use the antidote here. It'll buy me some time. Oh, I throw this guy off a cliff. Which will make the next bit slightly easier, I think. This, uh, yep, clear deep sea. That's a good thing to have, I think. Yeah, there isn't a lot that can be done here. Just try and maneuver around until you get past everything. Now, I would like to get the flower buds, but. don't really want to make a big ado about this. Oh, crap. I don't have a lot of confidence here. Can I get you to throw a rock? Yep. Cool. That's better. I don't really want to fight stupid seaweed monster, though. Seaweed monster. This stupid thing. Don't feel good about this. Okay, that's a dumb move that you shouldn't have done. That's a better one. Okay. Oh god, do I have to fight every tiny little dude that comes my way? Yes, sir. Just want to get across to here. Grab that. And then get across to here without being poisoned again. There. That is a successful kind of run of sorts. Now, once again, things get tricky. 
with the damn Mensis brain. Although that's not her name. I don't have an opportunity to change my runes, but I can change my outfit. Who has the best frenzy res? Graveyard mask, of course. Uh, maybe Ash and Hunter garb is the way to go. Certainly it's better than anything I've got, so... Let's try that out first. We'll just skim the whole list of things to make sure. I mean, realistically, I don't even want to get anywhere near triggering Frenzy, but... Just because I don't want it doesn't mean that's how it's going to happen. I'm actually having a problem where my inside is so low that I'm having trouble telling where she is because she's not singing the way she normally does. But I did catch sight of her going down, so logically I should catch sight of her going up. There we go. Just keep the camera about here. Moves very slowly. But as long as she doesn't have much chance of catching up to me. There we go. Yeah, not even close to uh, triggering frenzy, but oh wait. It was doing its darndest for a second there to fill up. My main concern is not him dying in an embarrassing way to the very last enemy here before the shortcut because it may seem difficult to do but I've done it myself. I have had this freaking werebeast thing kill me in a terribly embarrassing fashion. Not exactly like so but pretty close. There we are. I'll take it, and I'll take the Fireblood Gemstone, even though it's probably inferior to what I've got. Because I had a pretty good ra uh, Crescent Fire Gem already. But, uh, good enough. Alright. That concludes the main loop of the Nightmare Frontier. Now, I would like to get some of the uh, goodies from under the poison roots and stuff, but that might have to wait. I think for the moment I've done enough. So I'm gonna head... Well, I'm probably gonna start farming a little bit. So I will see you guys later on. After I uh, do some farming and then I'll report my progress. So thanks for watching everyone and bye for now. Bad. Bad for everyone involved. At least this time I can target him from the start. Oh. But I completely fucked it up already. very good at catching this guy in the first swing. Which is why I usually wait for him to do that little fist jab thing. Because it's a big tell. Like so. Also, you can't get too far away from him if you don't want him to throw the damn chattel. I feel like if I could get him more often on swings like that, 
then everything would go a lot more smoothly. But I often screw this up quite badly. Like now. Perfectly good opportunity to have that not happen. But did I have it happen? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, we're, we're getting somewhere here. Hopefully he goes down with that. Yes! Woo! Okay, not so bad. Uh, cold damp is arcane scaling, I want to say. Cold damp. Add physical, reduce stamina cost, arcane scaling. It has its uses. Sometimes. That's about the best that can be said for it. I can't think of any reason why his gun should have to one shot that amount of health off you. When your gun does absolutely nothing like that. Maybe find another pillar? I don't know. I don't want to be anywhere near this guy when he's doing this. Crap. And gun damage. Thankfully, I can take an incidental hit while doing something else. Sometimes when he's fucking around, I can get him. Particularly after he's already done a move. He has like a little bit of a period where he seems compelled to run. Even if it wouldn't be the best thing for him to do. Oh, that was so close. I almost bit it. Can't take any hit. advised crap now here's the moment of truth where it all comes down to <laughs> will I be able to maintain what I'm doing here despite there now being two of them probably not He'll probably gun me down. Also, goddamn, I have to be locked onto him. Go, the flamethrower is nothing compared to him. I hate to say it. Oh, damn. This is not good for me. My heart. Is bad for my heart. Oh crap. Don't take him too lightly. Even though he's almost dead just because of getting caught in incidental hits. Oh, 
Ooh. This is this is bad for me. Damn it, I don't I could probably kill this guy because he's being so aggressive, but I don't want to deal with the other one before that happens. I definitely want this guy to be the first of the guys that I have to kill. Oh, but these little incidental hits are driving me batty. I just don't feel like I can take a risk with this guy. Yeah, all or nothing basically. Ooh. Trying to lock onto him is such a nightmare. Okay, Madman's escort is out. Now I just have to get rid of this guy without screwing up at the last second. With the question being, can I actually do that? Okay, I hit him. Ah, oh, yes! Take that! Lower hinder tomb unlocked. Don't mind if I do. Well, I discovered from my last attempt that Bolt does a comically clownishly low amount of damage to this guy and is absolutely not worth your time. Which I was surprised. I really thought he would be fire resistant mostly and at least take normal damage from Bolt. But it wasn't like Bolt uh, did a normal amount of damage at all. It did like a tenth of what you would expect it to do. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, saved by the elevation. If I get hit by that spear thing and then the follow-up, I'm just dead. I've discovered. Which is unfortunate because it's actually my main way of getting uh, damage in on him. I like that spear move. It's very easy to uh, counter as long as it doesn't hit you. I'm not so good with the others. Because they usually involve you having to... Uh... Oh, well, that was a waste of... Well, it wasn't a waste, it hit him. The extra damage from the bone marrow ash didn't waste. His teleporting is just so irregular. That's better. And that's better damage than before. Yeah, I should be able to counter that, but for whatever reason, I never really feel it. There it is. I should learn it though, because it would make this so much faster. One, two, three. Oop. That one too. He does tend to run away when you hit him, so he's a bit better in that. I can actually hurt him. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous because since he hit me with that thing the last time. If he hits me with a spear, I die. That's pretty much how it's going to go. During my first fight, I almost had a... M I was like doing almost magically with it. I had the exact right distance the whole time. And I didn't fall for any of his really cheap stuff. But, that being said... Oh, that was... I see, that's not bad damage. 
the viscerals don't always do it. I, don't, I never feel comfortable jumping in on the crossbow because I can never tell what he's going to do after it. Sometimes he runs away when you hit him, and other times he goes into a combo at close range and he be screwed. Oh crap, that, see that was almost death just because he decided to teleport towards me, weirdly. Which is a very rare thing for him to do. Okay, that's not bad. I like that. Cleaver's do actually doing some work here. You just can't do that with the axe sometimes. It's too, you're too slow to recover from a combo. Let alone get multiple hits in. I wonder if you could poison this guy. Because I would totally put, like, slow poison on my weapon. If I thought it would attach. Because it would make some of this downtime worthwhile. Oh, see, he just decided to flash towards me and then flash away. But flashing toward if he flashes next to you, it's so dangerous if you're in a situation where you can't get hit at all. Let's save this time. Just roll and then a transforming we oh. Damn, he even had me in a in a stagger for that one. That's brutal. Oop. Let's not try and get him to do something a bit normal. Ah, that projectile is such a pain. Okay. Not so bad. And despite not getting the visceral, I still got a bunch of damage on him because Cleaver rocks. Let's try again. Whew! I hate that. But I like this. Oh crap. That was not what I intended to do. God damn it. I feel like it's much easier to just sort of love tap him during that combo if you've got a cleaver. So with the axe, you have to stand there like an idiot for a while. Like, overall, it's just so much easier. But at the same time, it's so much harder. <laughs> you just get the hit you know you can get. You have to be very quick to counter that. I need more bullets. I wonder if I can get him to... Nope. Shit! That was almost my... as much as I was worth. Oh crap. I can't afford to get stuck in a bullet combo. Okay, that's... Back to prime operating procedure. Ah, oh, I thought I dodged that, and I guess I didn't. Okay, get out of range. Dodge the arrows. Keep cool. Nope. Oh, crap. Crap. Stay, stay frosty. I'm out of rhythm, but I'll get back into rhythm. I just gotta... That's a good one. We won't do anything risky, we'll just back up. Let him have his tantrum. Another one. Beat him up with that. Good. 
cool. Let's just really beat the crap out of him. What's his next move gonna be? Spike! I hate it, but I dodged it. Oh, I missed, but... Yeah! It's enough. Don't know what that weird effect on the screen there was, but... Whew! Cold, damp blood gem. Don't really want it, but... Still happy I got to the end. No more hinder tombs! Well, except for the ones I want. <laughs> Get to that later. But bye for now.